This is also one of the very common doubts to the candidates which language I should learn or which language has maximum demand in the industry. Generally in industry, currently most of the project developed or developing using the four languages like Java, Python, JavaScript or C++. Uh, C Sharp, Scala or Ruby is also demanding but currently these four languages is very important for the job opportunities perspective especially in India. But learning language is not a skill. Anyone can learn any language in few weeks of practice. Basically the companies are looking for the domain expert people who is good in data structure and algorithm as well as system design and have good expertise in their domain. And they are not looking for the language expert people. So you can learn any of this language as per your interest. I won't rank this programming language based on the demand or let's say the job opportunities because if anyone is doing that, they can't be completely sure because sometimes in one project we use multiple languages or let's say the multiple frameworks which support these programming languages. So experienced candidate focus on the domain expertise plus strong understanding of DSA and system design. And for the fresher candidates or you can say the college graduates, they can learn any of this programming language. Nowadays almost uh, all programming language supports the OOPS concept and use that language to implement the DSA concept. Some of the domain expertise are you can be expert in full stack developer profile or let's say the company are looking for the people having good expertise in cloud computing or let's say the data science and machine learning expertise people or let's say you have worked on the e-commerce companies or retail business. So these are the domain expertise people. Similarly, you can be a expert in automation engineering, finance domain, Android development, business analyst, health sector. So a lot of domains are there. This domain expertise come from the industry experience. So for experienced candidate, they are looking for any of this skill set in their resume. Language is not that most companies are interested in. In fact, many top tech companies interview interviewer told you you can write the code in whichever language you are comfortable with. If you have some domain expertise, then you must have developed some kind of software, of course, because if you have worked any of this domain, you must have developed some kind of software and that software is developed by using some framework and these framework supports the multiple languages. Like let's say if you are a full stack developer, so either you will be using the Spring Boot for backend development and Spring Boot supports the Java language. Spring Boot is the framework and it supports mostly in the Java language. So this is your profile or you can see the domain and generally for developing a software in this domain, we use the Spring Boot for developing the backend system. Similarly, let's say if you are using the Django framework as a full stack developer for backend development, then Django framework supports the Python language. Similarly, as a full stack developer, you need to design the UI as well. So if you are designing the UI, you must have used the JavaScript. It can be React.js or it can be AngularJS. So this is your profile or you can see the domain in which you are working on. And these domains require the expertise in these kind of frameworks. So generally company during the interview are looking for the people who is having the domain expertise for the experienced candidate. Along with that, you should have a good understanding of the frameworks and DSA and system design. Let's see some of the technologies of framework this language mostly use like for example Java language. So Java language is mostly used in the e-commerce or retail companies as well as the health sector and the finance domain. So Java supports the important frameworks like let's say the Spring Boot through which we developed the backend system. It also supports the cloud frameworks or cloud computing and we can integrate the Java language with distributed components like Kafka or the Spark. So full stack developer in Java must have the good understanding of Spring Boot as well as any UI language like Angular or React. Similarly, the Python developers are also full stack developer who work with the platforms like Django or Flask frameworks. So a lot of web development application backend system use the Python framework. And Python is also used in data science, machine learning, artificial intelligence as well as NLP. So a lot of libraries is supported in Python language also. And mostly in many project automation framework is also written in Python. So Python language is considered to be the very easy language to understand 